my name is Andrea Cipa. Today we are going to start a new series of uh, tutorials. We are going to simulate a runoff of a big valley situated up in the Swiss Alps. In my background, you can see more or less the situation. We have high mountains, we have uh, forest, we have uh, grassland, we have villages. For this simulation, we are going to use the characteristic of this basin. We are going to use the rain intensity. And uh, at the end, we are going to estimate the flow of the river that you can see on the background. And on a specific location, location of interest, we are going to simulate the flooding that will occur based on the given parameters. For that, we need three main free software. HMS 4.8, the last version, ECRAS 6.1, the last version, and any JS software. I'm going to use Quantum GIS, but of course you could use as well Arc GIS. You need for these uh, tutorials a minimum knowledge on GIS, but uh, let's stop introducing and let's start with the software. First, you need to, to Google and find HMS, download it and install it on your software and open it. The very first thing that we have to do is to create a new model with metric unit. For that, we go on new simulation. Let's call it tutorial HMS. You can add a description and you have to browse to the specific location where you want to save it. I want to save it here and I have to choose the metric unit system and create. This is the first step. As you can see on the upper left side, a new folder has been created with the name Tutorial HMS. Additionally, several folders have been automatically created. You can see this is our file and all those folders have been automatically created. At this point, it is time to insert a digital terrain model. For this type of analysis, you don't need a very precise digital terrain model. It is up to you where to find and download the digital terrain model. Principally, you have three free options, Aster GDEM, SRTM and ALOS. I am not going to explain where to find the digital model and how to download it because this was topic of previous tutorial that you can find on the same channel just check digital terrain model it is important that you know which projection has your digital terrain model and that you convert the projection in the right projection that you need for your simulation normally it makes sense in europe to use UTM projection. If you don't know in which projection do you need to work, please check my tutorial about projection. As example, I'm going to download SRTM, crop it to the area of interest and reproject it on UTM. I Google SRTM download. This is one of the many possibility to download SRTM digital elevation model. I zoom into the area of interest, Switzerland. This is the tile that I am interested to. I click on download. I go to my download folder. It is a zip file, therefore I unzip it. There it is. I take this file, cut it, and I put it into my folder, HMS. Fine. Now I open with Quantum GIS my file. It's a raster. It is terrain. It's here. Add. I just browse to the area of interest 
in order to see if this file is properly georeferenced so the area of interest is somehow here yes it is on the right position now I crop this file because I don't need to work with huge file I go to raster extraction clip raster by extent this is the raster I want to crop I want to crop it with the map canvas extent and that's it okay now I have two files one is you can see it is much smaller now now I need to reproject this raster file in UTM32 North. I go to raster projection reproject and here this I don't need target projection I want to have 32 North if you don't have it like that you can even search it here and that's it I run it close now I have uh, reprojected my raster file it doesn't change a lot but it's change fine this is now the file that we are going to use in HMS therefore I save it I export it in the right folder geotiff is fine projection 32 north is fine and I'm going to look for the right terrain I call it SRTM 32 north OTM save okay now I have created my digital elevation model this process you can do as well with ALOS and other digital elevation model for my example I was able to find a very good digital terrain model of a resolution of 0.5 meter per pixel the projection was LV95 and in the same way I have reprojected it into UTM 32 north let's open again our HMS that we have uh, created previously and let's insert our digital terrain model we go to component create component terrain data we can give the name of our terrain data or we can leave it like it is next we check that we have meters and we browse to the location where we have saved our digital terrain model like I was telling you I was creating previously a digital terrain model that is much better than the SRTM therefore I use this one but of course I could as well use this SRTM that we have previously produced select be sure that you have meters and finish it might take some time to import the digital terrain model you don't see anything here the terrain appears but it is not visible on the screen now you need to create the basin you click on components basin you click on new you can give a new the name of the basin i call it valcamadra which is the name of the area i can give a description create and okay and now i have two folders one is the basin and one is the terrain the basin is not linked to the terrain model that's why you click on the basin and you give the terrain one as a reference now that you click on terrains they will ask you to give a projection we can browse to an existing projection in case you have it or you can use a predefined projection we know that we are working on UTM32 North therefore we go on this 
predefined projection because UTM is included in the predefined projection. So we go to this UTM 32 Norton. We are not in North America, we are in Europe, therefore VGS 84. Select. Automatically the projection script is going to appear here and we click on set. Okay, now we can link the terrain one to our basin model and it might take some time. Here we have our terrain model. And at this point, we can save our components and move to the second tutorial.